So I welcome you all for the uh, third day of uh, our FPP on construction automation and robotics towards sustainable infrastructure. A small introduction about the, the session speaker, Dr. Sagar Malshin. Am I right, sir? Sagar Malshin. Malshin. So, Dr. Sagar Malshan is an associate professor and interim dean of the School of Architecture, Planning and Real Estate at the Nikmar University, Pune. His current involvement in Nikmar University, Pune is in the form of carrying out teaching duties for courses like application of BIM, lean construction, construction execution and management, etc. Further, he is conducting research in areas like critical factors for the uptake of BIM, usability analysis of uh, BIM 4D, identification of critical challenges for adoption of integrated project delivery, adoption of drone in construction, etc. His qualifications include a PhD in the area of automated code compliance using building information modeling uh, from UK and a postgraduate degree in construction management uh, from UK. Dr. Sagar received a PhD studentship funding from the Northumbria University in association with a cooperating partner, Royal Institute of British Architects Enterprises. Dr. Sagar recently conceptualized the Center for Digital Construction at NICMAR and he is one of the active members. He is also working on VC grant research project titled Establishing DRI for Construction Organization. So I welcome you, sir. So sir, so going to deliver the topic uh, BIM for Project Information Management. So I hand over the session to the Dr. Sagar. Please, sir. Thank you and good afternoon to all. <coughs> so uh, uh, I'm I'm going to talk about uh, this particular topic. Uh, this particular topic is not really uh, a very difficult topic. Uh, it's not like something uh, which one cannot understand or one has to really really think very deeper. Uh, but it's a topic. It is just not known. People are just not aware and that is the only uh, challenge about it. Otherwise, otherwise, this is something uh, every person who is associated with construction industry can correlate to this topic or, or every person can feel like this is something very important to all of us or it can really improve our uh, work life, uh, the way we go about our work, etc. Et so that's the uh, only uh, sort of so basically it's the, just the unknown, uh, the challenge of unknown that is something and once you get to know about the topic, it's a, it's a very easy topic, very interesting topic and, and it uh, sort of provides very diverse uh, platform. So everybody can correlate, somebody uh, who is uh, looking at construction projects from a certain angle, he will also feel that yes, my, my work or my, uh, my expectation can get fulfilled, etc, etc. So, uh, <clears throat> so I'm uh, just to begin with. I would just like to understand uh, from you whether have you really heard of this topic before? Uh, if yes, what is your first impression about it, etc., etc. Yes, I mean, uh, little bit of interaction would be helpful. Uh, absolutely not or what is the status? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> so I understand you all are uh, doing MTech, is that correct? Like, or okay, or some of you, but most of you are teaching subjects which are associated with construction 
Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then, <clears throat> so, so if you see uh, currently, uh, one of the important challenge uh, as a construction industry, uh, or uh, or if you if you look at the construction industry, uh, what kind of expectations we have from the construction industry? Like, if you look at the construction industry, and if we ask the construction industry, what what is the ultimate aim of that construction industry? Why Indian construction construction industry exists? What could be your answer? This, I'm audible. This mic is okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? So, really, really, uh, very simple question I'm putting in front of you. We all are part of construction industry, right? <clears throat> there are so many different different industries. Uh, like if you look at from the national growth point of view, you have manufacturing industry, you have textile industry, you have IT industry. Similarly, you have your agriculture, and similarly, you have construction industry. So, why this construction industry exist? What is the ultimate role of construction industry? If you have to explain that in one sentence, yes, infrastructure. What do you mean by infrastructure? No, infrastructure, that means create infrastructure, is that what you are saying? Okay, okay, create infrastructure. Anything else? Yes, just randomly you can answer, don't, don't think too much. To meet the needs of the community. To meet the need of community. Means infrastructure? Okay. And when you say infrastructure, what does that mean? Connectivity. connectivity. So when you say connectivity, that means you are talking about roads or railways, is that or airlines? Okay. Well, is that the only job construction industry is expected to do? Creating better living environment. Yes, not only buildings, but also the parks and associated recreational activities. Creating parks, do you think it's the responsibility of construction industry? For the recreational purpose, for operating the standard of living, for metro cities, it's mandatory. According to the rules, it's responsibility. Yes, what I'm trying to say is that it's not the responsibility of construction industry. Somebody has to say this to construction industry that do this, do that. Yes or no? Like construction industry cannot say that we need a park here. The park concept has to come either from the government or from a private developer. Do you agree what I'm trying to say? So, so the job of construction industry is ultimately is to complete projects or to deliver projects. Do you agree? And that project can be infrastructure project, that project can be building project. It can be anything, but the job of construction industry is to complete projects. Do you agree? Or the job of construction industry to deliver projects? Yes or no? Like for example, and then government of India. For example, government of India is very interested in understanding <clears throat> how our industries are doing. So for them also, they have a lot of expectations from construction industry. So what is their expectation? That we are allocating so much of budget, we are promising so many projects, correct? So, so their expectation from construction industry is complete the project. Yes or no? Do you agree? So many different different <coughs> uh, uh, schemes government is la uh, launching, housing scheme, infrastructure projects, tunnel projects, etc. etc. So construction industry is not the one who who is behind the planning. Construction industry does not say that let's construct a tunnel from this point to that point. Yes or no? That, that comes from government. But the construction industry job is wherever the cons government will say construct the tunnel, they will have to construct the tunnel. Correct? Whenever, the, uh, whenever a developer or a builder will say that construct a building, their job is to construct the building. So, so what I'm really trying to establish here is that our job is to complete project, correct? Then 
What is the next expectation? Very easy, right? Do the project within the time, within the cost, maintain the quality and safety. That is something very basic. Initially, uh, it we used to only think about time and cost. Then quality has become an important parameter. Now, more awareness, more sophistication. Now we have become more aware about the safety aspect also. Like we don't want any accidents on our construction project, etc., etc. Correct. But, but ultimately, uh, so all this is this is something which which is our responsibility. Here we cannot say that this is not something our responsibility. Yes or no? The, to deliver the project but to deliver the project within the budget within time as per the standard and and obviously with safety uh, maintaining high quality safety standards etc etc then the next question is are we really doing that are we really fulfilling the expectations as an industry yes or no Because again, uh, government of India or different uh, monitoring bodies, they keep checking the performance of each industry. Because for them that industry is very important for the GDP growth. For them that industry is very important because they are again going for elections. So everybody has his own agenda. Or even the uh, global agencies also looking at each country and each country's industry, how they are doing etc. What kind of safety record they have how they treat their labors, uh, how they use their raw materials, yes or no. So obviously our performance gets evaluated on various parameters and by different different bodies, by different different agencies. So it's really important that we should show that our results are satisfactory. We should, re uh, we should really show that the way we are doing is improvement, we are improving, we are constantly going on upward scale etc etc. So, so I just thought that I'll just show you some uh, information uh, just to understand that, you know, just to sort of question ourselves whether we are really doing a great job or not. Uh, so look at here. So this is information, obviously this is from government sources. It's not something like which I have created. 440 infrastructure projects show cost overrun of 4.3 lakh crore. Okay, so this is a study done by Ministry of Statistics Program on uh, Implementation Body. So, so obviously, because if government is proposing so many projects, obviously they will keep an eye on those. Ones. Yes or no? When government is putting money, uh, they will not <coughs> they will not say that do whatever you want to or do whatever way you like to do it. So, so look at here. Total one six seven projects delay in land acquisition. There are different reasons. Obviously, will not go into the reasons because that is not really the main important discussion here but but just look at the numbers and what does those numbers say is that cost overrun uh, 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 and time escalation together they almost uh, cumulatively they go beyond 60 percent correct uh, so so if you see that uh, only 20 I think 3 or 26 percent projects are on schedule so if you see any kind of evaluation any exam any type of performance evaluation if you see that if you are scoring somewhere around 34 percent 35 percent it's not a great score yes or no so what does that mean that means the way currently we are doing projects that's not the best way going about it or the way we are completing projects the method which which we are doing that's not giving us the right result now you may <clears throat> argue with me that some of these reasons are out of our control or as a construction industry what can i do if if uh, if there is an issue in land acquisition my job is to construct so i agree it's not like it's fully uh, the construction in industries you know responsibility or or they are fully at fault but it is also true that we don't finish our projects as per the standard do you all agree there is there's a lot of scope for improvement correct and 
basically in this context only people have been then coming up with different different concepts that how can we improve our project completion or how can we improve our project delivery in in what way basically what are the different uh, approaches what are the different technologies what are the different methods can we can we use these different solutions to our advantage and make sure that we complete our projects and basically in this context only this whole concept of bim has been coined building information modeling or uh, building information modeling for better project information management so basically uh, if you see historically we have been talking about project management you know so if you see project management it's all about how you are managing your information or how you are managing your uh different different resources but even that those resources are also part of information so basically uh if you see that why we have not been successful uh in in completing our projects or why we have not been successful in terms of uh, something as easy as client satisfaction if you see so one of the reason is that we are just not handling our projects properly and why we can't handle our projects properly one of the re main reasons is we are just not handling the information of our projects properly if you see today's world all large giant companies and they have become large or giant is because they manage information so information has lot of value you know we took some as a country also or as industry also it took some time for us to understand the value of technology uh, to understand the value of information uh, because it it is little intangible like for example if you bring a tower crane on site you bring lot of value you uh, treat that tower crane with lot of importance why because you feel that you have got this great machine uh, your your daily uh, renting charge or monthly renting charge or capital cost is too high so i need to make most of that tower crane i need to put that tower crane at the right location mm -hmm. so that i can use it 360 degree 360 degree uh, put material from one corner to another you know make a full use of it why because i have paid lot of money to it so it is something tangible you see that that's why you appreciate that it has lot of value sometimes what happen information we don't feel like or we don't uh, really uh, able to understand the value attached to it that having the right information can be immensely useful or can make our decision so proficient or so accurate that it can lead to a uh, lot of time saving it can lead to a lot of cost saving etc etc okay so this whole idea of bim is all about how can we have right information how can we how can we manage that right information and how can we generate right information so it's all about generate uh, a quality information after generating that quality information how can we manage that information effectively to our advantage and then how can we exchange that information to get great results and ultimately what why why we want to do all that to achieve our project delivery yes or our ultimate target is what complete the project with all the boxes tick that i have finished the project within time i have finished the project as per the cost i have got the all the quality standards as well as my safety record is great do you agree so far any uh, doubt any confusion do you find this relevant which i'm talking or uh, you you don't find too much relevance to what i'm talking so 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 basically it's, it's all about how can what are the different you know uh, there are different uh, globally there are different uh, industries like european construction industry american construction industry uh, asia asian market australian market and then different industry leaders are there so they constantly keep thinking about how can we improve you know how can we have a great record as a construction industry and out of all these deliberations all these uh different different uh, uh leaders and their uh, intellectual abilities this concept has been coined uh so the so the theoretical <coughs> intellectual side of this concept was developed much longer 
or way beyond uh, uh, longer but it took some time uh, from technological perspective to get it implemented because technology took some time to get developed so probably today we have reached to a stage where <clears throat> how the concept was con uh, conceptualized or developed but to implement that concept in real world the technology support was required now we have reached to a stage where it has we have we have got that technology or we have developed that technology and together <clears throat> in the combination of uh, combination of process part approach and technology we can really <clears throat> use this concept effectively to deliver our projects so the whole point is <coughs> can we uh, <coughs> so we have to question ourselves that okay we have been doing this pro uh, <coughs> we have been doing construction with a certain approach <coughs> as an organization as a company or as a project manager i have been doing these projects what if what if now if i adopt the beam approach and what if if i try to deliver the project through beam whether i can get the results or not and and it's very easy it's pretty simple it's all about generating uh, right quality information managing it exchanging it and obviously that will <coughs> that will give you right result uh, is as simple as that you travel every day from point a and point b but every day when you travel from point a and point b you get stuck in traffic you get delayed uh, to attend your meetings uh, the traveling experience is uh, not great so obviously you will question your route right yes or no you say that i think i should go for an alternate route do you agree yes or no we do that all the time is there a shortcut is there a better route is there a route which is having less traffic similarly we have been doing construction for many years now some of these uh, great intellectuals or leaders they are giving you a different approach of doing the same projects and they are saying that uh, why don't you try this approach why don't you try this method you might get great results and beam is all about that that having this approach of doing projects through beam and that is why a lot of the uh <clears throat> companies they use the term called uh, delivery delivery of the project through beam or beam delivered project that means they are very clear from day one that they have to do the project through beam how how to do that all that we will <coughs> go in little bit more detail after some time uh, but just uh, just to take the topic uh, more uh, in detail or take uh, just to take the topic forward so as i said why beam is <coughs> pretty straight forward <laughs> uh, if this would have been great if this uh, if this pie chart would have been great then there was really no need to discuss why beam but because this